hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel and welcome back to another video in this video you know i did some research about the makoko market women's group of women that chase a nigerian lady out of ghana like you know something like that they deported that lady that's what i'm been hearing and when i do some researches i've been seeing that a lot of people are having different different opinions about this entire thing the first thing that i see that's I'm actually supposed to just, I feel like I should just share something about it is that a lot of people are wondering like, why are they actually packing people like seeing Ghanaian people, you know, when things come out like this, people were saying, hey, Ghanaian chase people, Ghanaian chase a lady, Ghanaian did this, Ghanaian did that. So they said that instead of that, why don't people just be seeing the, some group of people in Makoko markets? Is it, do I remember the name of the market? Well, in the market in ghana are the people that chase people away instead of just mentioning every one of them are saying ghanaian people ghanaian people you know what what i actually wanted to say about it is that they can't say it's a group of people as the matter of fact ghana is ghana you know and another thing is that it's a group of women that did that because they do not like each other you know but still men are supporting this because if you are following the trends about this entire thing you see that men their men are following and saying yes that's the that's the right thing to do they're supposed to do that next time they will do more than that you know something like that they are backing it up why some are actually ashamed of their people there like why do they do that it's not like because she's against she's selling against what's, what they are supposed to say you know some people were saying uh, what she was selling was actually fake. Some were saying it's original and she's selling it at low price. And some Ghanaians people also said that people in Ghana usually sell things at a very, very high cost. They sell it so, so, like, their price is not, is not just normal price, you know, something like that. So that one was just selling it on a normal price. We don't really know exactly what is it, you know. So those are rumors. But anything, anything that actually happened, I think... They are not supposed to take the justice by their hand. And about that thing that also happened, they have started to be carrying posters around and saying, you must go, Nigeria, you must go, foreigner, go, leave our country, or something like that. Actually, you cannot only be the one to build your country. It's not easy. If it's been easy, all this, why? Why haven't you built it? Finish. Those foreigners are people that will still be helping and coming and be developing those that countries of yours. Some Ghanaians actually feel bad. They really, really feel bad about what their people does. And so we are praising them and happy and saying, yes, that's what they're supposed to do. You know, something like that. <laughs> but actually, what I'll say there is that we will pack you together. Yeah. We must pack you together. Because it has always been like that. If anything go wrong, like if anything happen, like now, they're saying you are saying foreigners should leave your country because one person did something. That is not even... I don't... <laughs> you take things too serious <laughs> that's what i see there because i don't think that can be in nigeria and they will be chasing you away because you say at the price or something no way people are selling different things and at their own different price no one will challenge them no one if you want to do you will go and talk to the person let's be saying it, and it's like this the way about it you know you will talk to yourself you negotiate normally then you cooperate and do that thing together it's not something you just go you bunch of people just go and just be challenging people and yes we will pack you all together and save Ghanaians because if anything goes wrong in ghana now just like anything when they caught people like when they, maybe they caught one person doing things and that person was like that person did something wrong and you ask who are you so many people have been using nigerian name to do bad things so when they now say they are Nigeria, without confirming their identity because of the mind, the poisoning mind that they have already toward Nigerians, Ghanaian people will just take action and just start broadcasting everything. Hey, Nigerian peoples, Nigerian peoples, do you mention that one person in Nigeria where you are saying that, did you? You pack us together. So we will always pack it together. And this will always and forever be in the issue we will not forget as well she be you don't know how to forgive you are the one that doesn't know how to forgive it's not only you that know how to not forgive people a lot of people also do not know how to forgive people that's why it's also like it's online you know even great grandchildren will watch what you are doing and they will see everything that has been happening between ghana and nigeria yeah so this is your action this is your action will forever be in the history Yes, we will never forget. 
I know you will pay for it, but when, how, is what I don't know. But definitely you will pay for all these things. You think you are, you, you actually think you have rich top, so you can do anything. You can do anything when you haven't even arrived. So continue. But as for me, as for me naturally, I knew that Ghanaians are always like this. Even petit traders that are not even people that were social, going social media are also like that. So nothing surprised me. It doesn't really surprise me. It does not surprise me. But one thing is that we also have to say something about it. Yes, I will share my own. What I, whatsoever I think about it, I will share my own take. But I'm not shocked. I'm not surprised because I know that people Ghana will deliberately, like, definitely do this. But I never know that those people that are, that are also not on social media, that means probably that place is not safe for people, especially in Nigeria. So you are the one trying to force yourself on them. You are not safe there, actually. They are just laughing at you while they are having different mind toward you. So any Nigerians that are in Ghana, I pray for you. May God be with you. God will protect you. So no weapons against you shall prosper. That's one thing. I'll say to you, I gave you my prayer. So God be with you. And also you too, be careful. Be very, very careful. Don't trust these people too much. They don't trust you. They don't believe in you. They do not ever. There is nothing you want to use to prove. They just have this mind. It's already in their mind. They can't change what they are thinking. Their mentality has already been like that. I don't know. Maybe ever since they are kids, that's what they are used to brought them. They use poison minded to like, they turn your mind to negativities when you are young. That's what they have been telling you. They have been poisoning, giving you poison, poisoning mind since you are young. Till you develop, till you grown up. And that thing now started like it already full all over you. It seems exactly like that. She got a permit. Yes, she got a permit. According to what we held that, she had the right to go and sell at the market day because she has a permit. But your police, <laughs> those people, like those people, those traders are still finding excuses to just use, to just use something to go against her, you know, something like that. You know, the other people usually cooperate, especially when it comes to something like bullying someone, the cooperate in chasing someone, in bonding against someone, like ganging up on someone, they usually cooperate on that way. Yeah. That's the only way I see that they can cooperate very, very well in how to bully, how to insult people, how to, that's what they are very good at, communicating, like coming together to join hands together to do. So she got a permit and those people are still using excuses and saying the permit is not completed. It's not complete. If it's not complete, I don't see any reason why she would also have the courageous to go to the market to sell when she knows that she don't have the right to do. And she has been going the according to what we're hearing. That's where she's been selling. You have already been planning everything till you plan it entirely. You know, when they now when things come out like this, they involve the police. So when the police come, the next thing the police will do is that instead of them to actually protect the lady, your people are ganging against you can see what is going on. That that is as if she was actually in the middle of her enemies, but you also joined the enemies to attack that lady as well. You know, they have always been saying, hey, the security in Ghana is so good. You are safe in Ghana. Bro, Ghana are the one that we are safe in Ghana. Nigeria, you are not safe in Ghana. This is what will always happen. You are not safe in Ghana. What is it? Hey, if you can go to Ghana, you are safe. Ghana is, safe. is a safe country. It's not a safe country for you people. It's a safe country for them because it's their country. You see what happened recently. You see what happened just now. So instead of them to actually protect the lady as well, like, okay, well, she had a permit, you know, even though if it's something you can actually solve, you know, normally, you now come and also keep on supporting your people when you know that she actually had the rights. Where is the law abiding? That law abiding people you call yourself, I don't see it. I do not see any traces of law abiding peoples in what you did. There is nothing like law abiding. There is nothing. And you call that country the country of law abiding and the good security. The good security country. <laughs> Bro. Liars everywhere. You know, if you're actually going to share like, okay, let's share the award of the most untruthful country people in the world. Ghana. It's number one. I won't even, you don't even have to think about it twice. Ghana it is. Ghana it is. They are number one. They are very good. They will lie. They will lie. They will just bring out the very big lie. 
They will not lie when you actually do, when they see the truth entirely as well. They will lie to your face like this and say, hmm, this is our thing. When they know that that thing isn't their own. They don't have anything to prove it to. But they will not be pro they will be broadcasting things for you. Things that they can't even prove for you on that broadcast. I don't understand you. <laughs> like, what's that? So the award you actually deserve the most is the award of untruthful people in the on the hearts. Yes. That's the award you deserve. No one will drag it with you. You win it. You win it. And award of bully. So you had it as well. You had it. Everything negative. You are good at it. Not a positive. Yeah. So I repeat, Ghana is not safe, especially for Nigerians. It feels like you're actually in a strange country where you don't know nobody. It doesn't feel like home. That's not home. In your home, they will never treat you like that in your home. Motherland. So motherland is where they are. Motherland, you care about the children and children that are not has adopted children, something like this. So that is a country that care about people. <laughs> you must be a joker. A joker. Even Google must be joking with you. You all are jokers. So, people, please, let's be wise. Let us be wise. These people just wanted to... They wanted to mingle with people they can actually be taking advantage of them. That's all they want. That, that's the... Yeah. They wanted to mingle with people they can take advantage of them and take everything and just aim from them where they don't even have what to give. They personally are still struggling and suffering. They haven't gotten there. But they are looking for someone that have gotten there so that they can just pack what that person have already harvested. They want to, they just want to hang what they don't do. That's what they are after. They are after just anything that will bring things. They are not after doing nothing as well. So, <laughs> that's that. Isn't that funny enough? Anyways, I've come to the end of this video. Let me know whatever you think about this video in the comment section. And I'm going to see you in the next video. Bye.